we'll now do measures of leverage almost everything that you need to know for this reading is shown right here so measures of rev of leverage essentially measure how much leverage a company has and the different types of leverage are shown here degree of operating leverage is a measure of the percentage change in operating income over percentage change in sales and this is the formula note that in this context with the de degree of operating leverage we are talking about business risk which includes both sales risk and operating risk sales risk means the risk of selling less than you expected either less quantity or at a lower price operating risk is the risk of your operating expenses being higher than expected so that's a related point but a company with high degree of operating leverage will be a company with relatively high fixed cost so with a high fixed cost the denominator becomes low if the operating leverage is high then a small percentage change in sales say a 1% change in sales will cause a relatively big percentage change in operating income degree of financial leverage is the percentage change in net income over percentage change in operating income here the finance costs also come into play so to remember this formula note that it is very similar to the dol formula the difference is that this f which stands for fixed operating costs now also shows up in the numerator and in the denominator you now add the interest costs so c stands for finance or interest costs high financial leverage leads to high roe because with high leverage the value of equity goes down so roe is net income over equity if equity is lower then roe will be higher as long as you are making money if you are not making money then the roe will be lower so that means that the riskiness or the roe volatility becomes more and if on average you are making money then potentially the roe levels will be higher degree of total leverage is the percentage change in net income over percentage change in sales and this is the formula you can note that dtl is simply equal to degree of operating leverage times degree of total leverage you can note that degree of total leverage is degree of operating leverage times degree of financial leverage the next point in this reading has to do with break even so the break even quantity is given by this formula it is the quantity at which net profit is zero f stands for fixed costs c is finance costs p e is the price at which you sell and v is your variable cost per item and q o b e is the operating break even this is the quantity where your operating profit is zero make sure you know all these formulas